Hi. I feel pretty comfortable and efficient most of the time under pressure, but it is something that I have learned with experience. For example, I had quite a few exams in college where pressure got to me and I did not perform to the best of my abilities during my school years. After realizing that I needed to improve myself, I actively looked for especially stressful situations in my career because in order to get better in these kinds of circumstances. So I have developed several personal strategies and I now see pressure as a kind of like motivating factor and a challenge for me. So when these kinds of situations arise, I approach them with a positive mindset actually. I want to share one of the challenging experiences in that I worked under pressure. During one of our sprints, one developer in our team deployed code very late time, very late time. And I didn't have much time to get the job done. But in order to sort out the problem, I was working so hard, worked extra hours and especially nights, and I finished my test on my task on time. So when I need to work under pressure, my first approach is to try to calm myself down and work extra hours. I try to react to situations rather than to stress or having stress. That way, the situation is handled and doesn't become stressful for me. Mostly, these have helped me a lot to handle this kind, this kind, this kind of stress. Also, in a scrum environment, we work as a team. I always maintain good communication and relation with my colleagues, so they trust me and they can communicate with me very easily. So I always avoid miscommunication and my team believes me every time. I believe that uh, this is another way of keeping myself away from stressful environments. So I can say that I have five best strategies on how to handle stress and pressure in my working environment. Let me uh, explain my five strategies in order to handle stress and pressure in working environment. So the first strategy of mine is I generally prioritize my tasks and works. So when things are getting overwhelming, overwhelming, it is easy for my plans to go out the window, but they are the most important part of my toolkit. Halfway through a big project, I might realize that things have changed and then so I need to update my priorities accordingly. And the second strategy of mine is I write things down, so I take notes. I get my worries out of my head and onto paper or my computer. Because there's a limit to my brain capacity, of course. I can't let a load of different projects bounce around my head demanding attention without impacting my ability to focus. And the <clears throat> third strategy of mine is I never go alone and always ask for help from, help from my colleagues. So I ask for help from the team members whenever I need it. In a business environment, it is not always easy for others to see that I am suffering. So I have to let, let them know, know. In the workplace, it is super important to let my manager know and also my team members, colleagues know if I'm getting snowed under. It is their job to get the best out of me. And if they want to keep me at my most productive, I believe that they'll have to offer me some support actually so the fourth strategy of my of mine about how to handle stress and uh, pressure in my working environment is i break the things or tasks down into small ta into small pieces so by breaking down my important tasks into small chunks i can work out which part is causing me the most anxiety and tackle it. And the final strategy of mine is I stop procrastinating. I tend to embrace working under pressure because 
It forces me to become the best version of myself and act quickly and decisively. At my last job, I was told that a major client was arriving from overseas in just, in just only five hours and I had to create a presentation for her ar arrival. And then what I did, what did I do about that? I quickly overcame that initial sense of panic, took a deep breath and collected my thoughts, uh, trying to figure out the best way of working on such short notice. So those five hours were, believe me, uh, both in intense and stressful for me, but I managed to create a powerful presentation for her. I know stress tends to build up but I eliminate it through my work experiences, personal knowledge, and strategy. Throughout my career, I have done some of my best work under pressure, actually. I find that routinely makes us bored, and I'm always looking for challenges that push me to give my best and to quickly come up with working solutions. Let me give you uh, another example about that. One time, I was supposed to deliver a project to a client in five days, only in five days. A colleague who was working with another client had the same deadline, but he had to take a leave of absence due to personal reasons. So I was forced and pushed to take up both projects at the same time. But I did not let the stress affect me. Instead, I came up with a very detailed time management plan and found new ways to boost efficiency that enabled me to deliver both projects on time. So I don't remember any project that I worked on that had uh, no pressure. Pressure actually is a good thing sometimes, or let's say most of the times. It forces me to work harder and smarter actually. So Good pressure, such as having a lot of assignments to work on or an upcoming deadline helps me to stay motivated and productive. Of course, there are times when too much pressure can lead to stress. However, I am very skilled at balancing multiple projects and meeting deadlines, which prevents me from feeling stressed often. Let me give you another example about that. For example, I once had four, four large projects due in this same week, can you believe that? Which was a lot of pressure on me. However, because I created a schedule that detailed how I would break down each project into sm small assignments and pieces, I completed all four projects ahead of time and avoided unnecessary stress. To sum up, I am very sensitive to team dynamics. If there is an unhealthy amount of stress within the team, I can pick up on some of that stress. So what I do is try to listen proactively to the concerns of the people or team members, my colleagues around me in my working conditions or environment, checking if frequently to see whether they are under stress. If they are stressful and they, if they feel themselves uh, stressful and uh, pressure on their own. I think about how I can help them with their workload so the collective stress of the team doesn't escalate. As a result, when the team is happy, of course I am happy as well. Thank you so much.